The universe is made of tiny particles called atoms, as well as compounds of atoms called molecules. Most of the molecules in the universe are relatively simple and small. Water molecules have three atoms. Table salt has two. Other naturally occurring stable molecules may have 10 or even 20 atoms. While most everything is made of small molecules, life is different very different. Living tissue is mostly made of huge molecules made of thousands of atoms. Generally, these molecules called proteins are made of fantastically long chains of other molecules, which are then folded or wrapped, and DNA molecules are actually made of billions of atoms in a single molecule. You can't make these kinds of molecules by simply mixing atoms together in a pot. Instead, they must be painstakingly built by the organism in an exact way. As you might imagine, such complex, delicate molecules tend to break apart over time, which is why living cells are designed to continually rebuild them as long as an organism is alive. But once an organism dies, well, time, microbes, and heat, and water, and oxygen, and chemicals, and a multitude of other forces begin to take their toll on these huge, delicate molecules. Biomolecular decay happens, often within weeks, and beginning within hours. Understand that the science of tissue preservation is well studied, so under optimal protective laboratory conditions, what is the shelf life of these huge molecular chains? Based on careful observation of decay rates, how long can they be preserved without breaking apart? Answer: 10 to maybe 30,000 years. But under real world conditions, that shelf life is far, far less. And what about if conditions could somehow be made better than laboratory conditions, absolutely ideal for preservation? Well, extensive experiments indicate that in no case could biopolymers last longer than 900,000 years. That's the theoretical upper limit on the age of these big molecules in any possible case. Less than a million years. Remember that evolutionists need hundreds of millions of years. But some shocking discoveries have been made in recent decades. Paleontologists are discovering original organic tissue amid fossils that were once thought to be tens, even hundreds of millions of years old. Soft tissue has been found inside dinosaur bones, intact protein molecules, partial DNA molecules, identifiable blood cells and blood vessels. In 2014, evolutionist scientists discovered marine worm tubules within what geology told them was the Precambrian strata supposedly more than half a billion years old. What did they find? The tubules were made of original, intact protein and chitin molecules. If they had discovered a ticking clock in the Precambrian, it couldn't have been more shocking. The age dating of dinosaurs, the age dating of the entire Precambrian strata, has now been blown out of the water. Not by religion, but by science. The proof is now in, and more seems to be coming. Virtually all fossils are absolutely younger than a million years old, almost certainly younger than 10,000 years old, and likely less than 5,000 years old. Now we'll see how long these materialists will remain in denial about this scientific reality. Evolution is impossible for many reasons, but it only takes one.